I'm filming this video now before it starts raining. Welcome to Caucasus Highway Tales. Today we are venturing out on the notorious Georgian military road up north to the Russian border with our car. We hired a car, a 4x4 of course, which seems necessary considering the state of the roads here in the northern Caucasus. Um, uh, let me show you what we treated ourselves to and let's hop in the car and see what we can find today. This is our amazing uh, Renault Duster. I didn't even know that Renault made a Duster, but apparently Renault owns Dacia or something like that. It's basically a Dacia Duster. And it's a four-wheel drive. And Julian is already in the car. It's pretty loud here, so I'm gonna jump in the car and talk to you more about today's adventure from the inside. Parked up here at McDonald's, the finest parking spot in Georgia. Anywhere else, it wouldn't look that good and the roads wouldn't be that good. All right, let's see what we stumble upon today. Uh, let's go. Start the machine. <laughs> All right. Go. Traffic is supposed to be very bad here. We drove from the airport to McDonald's here and uh, it's kind of crazy because we have a, a really new car, right? Mm -hmm. And no scratches and nothing. And we don't want to damage it, of course. I think you have to turn, or well, you can't turn that way, right? You can no, also, no, you go further, you go straight, yeah, straight and then right, the first one right. And I will have to put my my belt on. Oops. <clears throat> All right. Venturing out on the Georgian roads. I'll catch you soon. As we're here checking out the Chronicles of Georgia, the monument behind me, let me tell you a little bit about today's adventure. We are on our way to the Russian border on the world's famous so-called uh, Georgian military road, which is the historic name for this major route through the Caucasus from Georgia to Russia. And the road is over 200 kilometers long and follows the traditional route used by invaders and traders throughout the ages. It is um, oftentimes described as the most beautiful mountain road in the world, but we shall see. When I flip the camera, you have a view over to Bills from the other side. Yesterday, we were just over there. Um, the TV tower is over there. You can see it hopefully in the camera as well. Let's get this started. <laughs> Whoa. So Russian troops first traveled on this very road in 1769 after the Russian Empire officially annexed the Kingdom of Georgia in um, 1801. Tsar Alexander I ordered to improve the road surface to facilitate troop movement here. The reconstruction of the road then cost a staggering 4 million British pounds, which was unheard of at the time. And it was the largest or let's say the most expensive infrastructure project um, at the time. And they traveled on this very road. However, the importance of the road as a through route has diminished in recent years, primarily, um, of course, due to delays at the border crossing between Russia and Georgia. As we can already tell, there will be some delays because um, traffic is, is uh, stop and go already. And we are 
I think like 60, 70 kilometers away from the border. And also due to natural disasters such as landslides, of course, It's so many Indian people here on holiday. We met quite a few also at the airport. And this uh, is a famous viewpoint on the Georgian military road with some Soviet relics up there. Hello. Hello. What Would you like to try paragliding? Come in? Ah, uh, no, thank you. Thank you. No paragliding. You probably saw no. from the road. Why not? <laughs> no, it's too, uh, it's, I don't know, too scary for me. <laughs> too hard for us. We have also kids is, flying. Isn't it too windy now? No, too it's hard? perfect weather for flying. Really? They are, you will be so, the wh south where, from the road. Where do you start mm -hmm. then? Uh, they are the start play from two minutes road. You see that all the building there? Yeah. Yeah, from there. Uh -huh. Indeed, uh, uh, all right. And we have also kids fly, kids under uh, from, uh, sorry, 20 kilograms, they are flying. So, oh, wow, really? Yeah, wow. we have our experience as pilots, so All right. it's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, so we will think about it, but probably not. <laughs> probably okay. not, but thanks for the offer. Okay. Thank you. No paragliding for us, it seems, huh? Too scary, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should actually do it, huh? But I think the nearest hospital is far away, huh? <laughs> Let's see what they have here. Hello, no, thank you, thank you, no potato. We just ate honey. Honey, fruits. They have so much honey here. Honey, different, different, uh, different types of honey. Wow, check out the view, huh? Grilling something. Hello, hello. No, thank you. Very good. Oh. Figa? Figa, maybe, maybe later, thanks. Figa, maybe later, huh? All right, now we're off to the Soviet uh, viewpoint up there. Hi, friend, come please. Hello, what is it called, this? Has a name? Panorama. Panorama? <laughs> okay, that's a good name. That's the perfect name for, for the viewpoint, huh? Panorama. <laughs> Who came up with this masterpiece of a name? <laughs> so she said that apparently they're starting the flights from over there, which I, I can't really believe because <laughs> they can't start from down there and then... You have to go up, up the hill. Yeah, but I, I think they drive you up with the quads, right? Yeah. Probably. And this is the Georgian military road going up towards Stepamandia and into Russia. Oh, wow. Capture this, huh? The Caucasian Mountains. Seems like they're starting from over there with the paragliders, huh? Check out this um, Soviet thing. Panorama. Apparently, this is the official way to the best viewpoint underneath the panorama structure. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is where we have to take a picture. For a thumbnail, maybe also. Wow. Whoo! Yes, 
the, the light is very... There's a Chinese factory over there that is apparently making these things for the road. Wow. Look at the Chinese signs and the Georgian language. That's quicker language. Construction a tunnel man. China Railway Tunnel Group Corporation. Oh, so this is actually to build the tunnel probably. Wow, crazy. They're building a tunnel apparently through the mountain so you don't have to go over um, through Gudauri anymore. With all the Chinese writing here. Eh? <laughs> Look at the small dog. <laughs> An old bus stop. Did you see the bus stop? In the middle of nowhere. Getting closer to the Russian border. Now the roads are getting worse. We stopped off here quickly to check out the area. Look at the mountains. We are up 3,000 meters above sea level now. And this is the road to the Russian border. Well, actually the unofficial road because the official road is apparently closed due to technical problems. But what we suppose, what we believe of course is that they just want to rip people off <laughs> and they just tell you that the road is damaged and that they will drive you over another road because they tell you that your car is not enough it's not uh, off-road suitable enough to go on this road and this is the road that now everyone has to drive or get driven by the Georgian Mafia if you want to go to the border with Russia. All right, let's see how this plays out. Let's carry on after this, after this Me Too. In our Dacia, it has, um, well, it's not a Dacia, it's a Renault, but it's the same build. It did a good job so far. Up here concludes our trip to the Russian border. Let's see if we can, I can climb down here. Oops. Oh, I am able to. All right. So let me tell you where we are. This is the Russian border just behind, just behind uh, this mountain. It's Russian land already. Here we are, we stand at the Trinity Church um, in this valley and down there is the road, the Georgian military road that brings goods to Georgia. We've seen uh, trucks from Armenia, seen trucks from even Iran, um, many trucks from Turkey and of course trucks from Georgia and Russia going in all the directions to bring goods and, um, and products across the border in order to help out the, or to, to trade with the former Soviet countries that are Armenia, Azerbaijan and, and Georgia here in the Caucasus. And uh, it was a pretty wild trip today. <laughs> the last road was pretty exhausting, man. We, we, had, uh, we had to turn around a few times and, and then um, get on the road again. It was, it was pretty crazy. But then the last bit, was a nice road as you can see here. Horses and old trucks. This pretty much 
sums up the trip and this view. And now it's 4.30 and we need to see where we're going to sleep tonight because I don't want to just stay out in the tent somewhere here. We don't even have a tent so let's see if we can find a place to, to crash and also something to eat because all we had so far was a little bit of um, goat and some hard as potatoes. They were like stones. We pretty much had stones and a few pieces of goat. I will leave you with this for today and I hope you enjoyed the Caucasus Highway Tales. On to the next one, huh? Maybe some more videos tonight actually, let's see.